Attention! All right, troops, today is going to be a rather difficult lesson. It is maths.3.0a.4.8, dot 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 which means solving not one but two step problems, word problems to be exact. And most students tend to struggle with this one. So make sure you pay attention and let me teach ya. Let's do this. Example one. Sally wants to finish reading a 327 page book by Friday. On Wednesday, so we're backing it up a little bit, she reads 99 pages. On Thursday, she reads 176 pages. How many pages must she read on Friday in order to meet her goal? This is an equation editor item. So, let me break it down. So on Wednesday, she read 99 pages. On Thursday, she read 176 pages. And by the time she reads Friday, she will have read a total of 327 pages. That's her goal. So what I need to do is I need to add these guys up first and then subtract it from here. So I'm going to add up Wednesday and Thursday. But right now I don't have the digits lined up properly, so I'm just going to drop it down here. All right, 6 plus 9 is 15. Woo, it's high up here. Nice landing, dude. 1 plus 9, those are compatible numbers, so that's 10. 10 plus 7 is 17. Woo, it's high up here. Nice landing, dude. And 1 plus 1 is 2. So, so far, on Wednesday and Thursday, she has read 275 pages. And now, I need to subtract her goal minus what she has read. 7 minus 5 is 2. 2 minus 7, I can't do that, so I need to regroup. Hey, can I have a 10? Sure you can. Thanks. 12 minus 7 is 5. 2 minus 2 is 0. So she has 52 pages left to read on Friday to meet her goal. So how many pages must she read on Friday in order to meet her goal? I think I just said that. It's 52. I could write 52 or 52 pages. Example 2. Cody mows lawns in order to earn money. You go, Cody. I wish more kids would be like you and actually go out there and earn their own money. None of this allowance stuff. Anyway, I'm getting off on a tangent. Um, he mows several lawns during the week. So during the week for $8 an hour. So each hour he works, he earns $8. And he mows one lawn on Saturday for $10 an hour. He earns a total of $42. Create an equation. So I need to create an equation that can be used to find the total number of lawns, which L is going to stand for that, that Cody can mow, that Cody mows, sorry, typo, during the week. So, let me see. We don't know how many lawns he mows during the week, but we know that during the week, He does $8 an hour. So for every lawn he mows, he earns $8. And we know on the weekend, he mows one on Saturday for $10 an hour, but just, ten, just one lawn. So what we have is 8 times L, that's what he mows on the week, plus $10, that's how much he gets for that weekend job, and all together he earns $42, so that is my equation. We're on example three now, and I'm sorry if it seems like I'm going a little bit fast um, from this one. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section and I'll get back to you with them. Um, it's just these are kind of lengthy problems and I want to make sure that we get it in a nice time frame. So, example three, Victor scored 811 points playing three math games. 
He scored 220, 293 points in the first game, 302 points in the second game, and about how many points did Victor score in the third game? So he's playing three games. So first game plus the second game plus the third game equals 811 points. And the first one he scored 293 points. In the second one, he scored 302 points. And we're trying to figure out about how many points he scored in the last one. So I know it says about, which probably means that I'm going to have to round or estimate at the end. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just add these up regularly. So plus what? 3 plus 2 is 5. 9, 5. So I'm guessing it's going to be about 200 because I've got about 811 minus about 600. I'm sorry, about 800 minus about 600, which is about 200. So I'm kind of leaning on B. But let me see. I know I need to subtract these to figure out what the third game was. 1 minus 5 can't do it. Can I have a 10? Sure you can. Here you go. 6. 0 minus 9, can't do it. Hey, yo, can I borrow a 10? Sure you can. Here you go. 10 minus 9 is 1. 7 minus 5 is 2. So we've got 216. And if I were to round that, it would be closest to 220. 4. Sue buys 4 packages of yogurt. And each package includes 8 cups. So I'm seeing multiplication going on here with that each and groups of things. On the way home, she donates, donates means she gives away 18 cups of yogurt at the local food shelter. That's awesome, Sue. It reminds us all that we need to do something kind for somebody who is less fortunate than us. I'm gonna do that today. Which equation can be used to find the number of yogurt, yogurt cups? And we're letting the variable y stand for the number of yogurt cups that Sue has left. So Sue has four packages of yogurt cups. And in each one we have eight cups. Looks like repeated addition, also known as multiplication. So here I have four groups, four packages of eight cups. And then... She donates, so she gives away 18. So what she has left would be like that. And I'm seeing not this one, because that says plus. Not this one, because that needs to be over here. That's the total that she has left. Um, this one looks good. And Y, again, the total needs to be over there. So C it is. Okay, so I wanted to apologize again. I know I'm going kind of fast through this. And with this standard, I'm assuming that you can recognize enough um, of what's going on in these word problems. If you need more help, make sure you comment below and I'll try to do the best I can to help you. Um, another great resource is go down to the, to the link that I've left there to my teacher store where you can download these problems that I'm working on plus two additional sets of problems that you can practice. So with answers, that way you know if you're on the right track. So back to example five. Herbert has three cups with 10 grapes in each. Polly has only two cups with five grapes in each. Who has more grapes? Well, they're kind of, in this problem, leaning on Herbert having more because it says Polly only has, so that's assuming that she has less. But I'm going to pretend like that's not there and actually do the math behind it. So who has more grapes? Explain your reasoning. So not just who, but also explaining. So Herbert has three cups, one two, three, with ten in each, and that's Herbert. Polly has one, two cups with five in each. So Herbert has ten, twenty, thirty cups, thirty grapes, I'm sorry if I've been calling them cups, and Polly has five, ten grapes, so Herbert has more. But here's my explanation. Herbert has more grapes 
because he has 30 and Holly only has 10 grapes. I forgot to record myself on the camera with a word of inspiration. So let me leave you with this. It says, every accomplishment starts with the decision to try. You have something right now that you know you're being called to do, so do it. You don't have to have it all figured out. Just decide to try. All right, guys, I'll catch you next time.